Hi, this is Anthony. Welcome back to my show. It's been a while since I've done a video on Nano Dimension. I'm not going to talk about what they do. You already know that or you can go back and watch my other videos. I just wanted to make a short video today about the continued slide in the price of the stock, which of course is based on the fundamentals of the company. I found an interesting article that I'll have a link to. I'm going to read part of it. Obviously, most of these words are not my own. They are from the author of the article. But I'm happy to provide a little free advertising to that website via my video here because I think that they did a good job in summing up the situation. And just for full disclosure, I have zero connection to the author of that article or their website. But the one thing that I want to say is that besides this company is losing money, you have a lot of turmoil at the top of the company. If you own shares in Nano or are thinking about buying shares, do you really want to invest your money in a lose? in a money losing company with a history of management troubles and shareholders perhaps not being treated fairly. I know a lot of people see that pile of cash in their bank account and think that the stock is undervalued. The stock is not undervalued unless you're able to seize control of the company and distribute the cash to the shareholders. No one is giving the money out in dividends. They are just going to continue squandering it on their money losing technology, in my opinion. So here's part of the article. Joav Stern has failed in his attempt to seize control of Nano Dimension and its $1.2 billion in cash. In a laconic report, and that means short words or a short report, to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Nano Dimension, which is traded on the NASDAQ, reported that its shareholders did not approve three issues on its agenda. The most significant issue was that of the shareholders of Nano Dimension, which is trading without a controlling interest, rejecting the repricing of the options belonging to CEO and Chairman Joav Stern. Nano Dimension, which is trading at a market valuation of $600 million, but holds $1.2 billion in its account after raising $1.5 billion, asked to reduce the exercise price of the options given to the CEO, $16.16, .16, per share to $2.46 per share. When this request first arose, the reduced exercise price was the same as the share price, which would have allowed Stern to become the largest shareholder in the company with a 10% stake almost for free. This would have also made him the actual controlling owner since other shareholders hold smaller stakes with no other shareholder own owning more than 5%. Today, the stock price of Nano Dimension is only slightly lower and stands at $2.36. In addition, the company requested to increase the number of shares from 500 million to 800 million, an unusual number for a company the size of Nano Dimension. Apparently, a larger number of shares could have served the company's acquisition strategy, but at the same time, a larger number of shares would have made it more difficult for parties outside the company to take control of it, which would have been convenient for Stern if the change in his options had been approved. The capital increase was also rejected by the shareholders, similar to the third issue, increasing the indemnity ceiling for the company's directors. To a large extent, it can be said that this is a victory for the Murchison Hedge Fund, which is currently the largest shareholder nano dimension at 4%. At the beginning of the month, the fund submitted a request for an injunction to hold up the meeting. In the application submitted by the Israeli law firm Goldfarb Seligman to the district court in Lod, it was stated that Nano Dimension refuses Murchison's request to allow it to review the documents and financial opinions that were the basis of the various proposals. Last September, Murchison submitted a non-binding offer to purchase Nano Dimension for $995 million, but was rejected by the board of directors. The offer reflected a 52% premium on the company's value at the time. For Murchison, the proposals were seen as an attempt to block Their attempt at acquiring control of the company, both by making Stern the actual controlling owner of Nano Dimension and by increasing the share capital, which may later be used against a takeover attempt. As mentioned, the meeting took place, but the shareholders did not approve the requests. The shareholders' vote was in line with the recommendation of the American institutional consulting firm, ISS, 
which called on the shareholders not to approve the request approved by the Nano Dimension Board of Directors. Around the same time as the publication of Nano Dimension's financial reports at the beginning of the month, Yaren Aiten, who served as chairman of the Compensation Committee, left the Board of Directors. Aiten was considered close to Stern, who managed the DevTel company he founded. It was estimated that the reports about Stern's attempted takeover of Nano Dimension contributed to Aiton's decision to leave. Nano Dimension's revenues in the third quarter amounted to $10 million, less than in the previous quarter when revenues stood at $11.1 million. The operating loss jumped to $33.8 million from $23.1 million in the previous quarter and $24.5 million in the corresponding quarter from the year before. Bottom line, Nano Dimension recorded an unusual loss of $67 million, more than three times compared to its third quarter loss in 2021. In a press release published by Nano Dimension on Wednesday, the company claimed that a shocking smear campaign was launched against it and which it believes was designed to harm the company and its managers. They said, we believe that this was a preemptive tactic to justify the sought takeover of Nano Dimensions assets by a small entity, which itself has a history of trouble with regulators and authorities in the USA. As a next step in the entity's campaign, they filed an injunction to hold up the meeting, thus holding up efforts for all shareholders to rightly express their own views in a proper governance forum. The Israeli District Court, where the injunction effort was launched, quickly dismiss the motion. They continue, naturally as a shareholder-minded company, the results of the vote will be respected. Furthermore, Nano Dimension will continue to execute on its vision through its M&A initiatives, R&D programs, and business development plans. These efforts have already yielded results and we expect this to be much more of the case in 2023 as we foresee notable opportunities in the industry that will enhance and expand nano dimension business with strong and robust capital and other assets and therefore benefit the shareholders okay as i end just for disclosure i own no shares of the stock directly i may have a mutual fund that has some shares of it but if it did it literally would be a few cents as far as my nano dimension uh, shares. As I'm not shorting the stock or any other stock, you don't need to write to me and claim that I'm trying to drive down the price. I'm not doing it. Again, I'm not providing any recommendations here other than for you to do your own research. And even if you wanted to put a small amount of money into risky shares like this, I encourage everyone to develop a well-diversified long-term portfolio for the bulk of their money. So what are your thoughts? Anybody out there still holding on to NNDM? I would love to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. I would be honored if you hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it just takes a second. And if you like my videos, I would appreciate it if you click the like button on those too. I'll end here now. Thank you very much for watching and good luck investing.